Hello and welcome to the NFC RFID tag segment of our ST25 NFC workshop. Before starting, make sure that you have the following boards, the ST25R3911B discovery board and the GUI software. The Cloud ST25TA tag board, which comes with the ST25R3911B discovery kit. You also need a micro USB cable. First, plug the board to your PC via the USB micro cable. Click on Demo, Demo Board Check. It should populate the dialog boxes with firmware version, demo board version, and SCM32 unique ID. You should also click on calibration antenna and adjust regulators. Before we move forward with some hands-on exercises, let's do a quick review of the ST25TA product line. A typical NFC RFID tag is a memory with one RF interface. With its antenna, it received inductive power from the RF field generated by the reader. For standard RFID, we have products supporting ISO 15693 and ISO 14443B. The SE25 TV is our latest ISO 15693 tags with memory size that is up to 64 k bits. Its data can be protected with 32-bit passwords. ST also makes ISO 14443B tag ICs. It comes with features such as 32-bit counter and OTP bits. For NFC compliant tags, we make type 4 tags. Special features such as 128-bit passwords, 20-bit counters, and field detect are available for some derivatives. Memory sizes range from 2K bits to 64 kilobits. We are going to go into details regarding our ST25TA product line. We will be discussing use cases we we'll go to the description of the SD25TA family variants or derivatives. We will discuss also the counter features and data protection. GPO features, we also talk about tuning capacitance and related ecosystem. The SD25TA product family has six main features. One, it has an ISO 14443 RF interface. Two, it has up to 64 kbits of EEPROM memory. Three, 128 bit passwords for data protections. Four, 200 years of data retention and 1 million erase and write cycles. Five, it comes with a 20, 20 bit counters. And six, configure configurable general purpose output signal for MCU wake up. SD25TA tags can find their applications in smart industry where material identifications can be realized. PVCs or metal pipes, for example. In smart city, SD25TA can be used for ticketing and labels for tourism. And finally, smart things can use SD25TA for Bluetooth or Wi-Fi pairing with Wake Up. In wireless pairing, SD25TA can be used to store the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi hand handled NDEF message. A simple tap will pair your phone with a Bluetooth speaker or connect it to a Wi-Fi network. The SD25TA can also be embedded into posters to give more information such as URLs, Going green with SD25TA and only carry one or two NFC business card. A simple tap will store the contact information into the phone contact list. SD25TA can be included in consumer products to enable traceability and also protect the brand from cloning and fakes. SD low density tags cover devices with 512 bit 
and 2 k bits of data memory, which are enough for applications such as NFC token, smart posters, gaming, and NFC business cards. Data can be protected with 128-bit passwords and 20-bit counters. Devices available in SON and BUMP English 8-inch wafer. The SD25TA02K comes in two flavors, P for CMOS GPIO and D for Open Drain GPIO. It also comes in very small FPN5 package that is measured only 1.7 millimeter by 1.4 millimeters. The 50 picofarad chip capacitor also al allows small antenna design. The SD25TA16K and SD25TA64K are high density tags with data memory of 16 k bits and 64 k bits respectively. The SD25TA 20 bit counters increment on each read or write events of the NDAP file. A register setting allows user to configure the counter to increment on read or write. When the counter is disabled, it will reset. Be aware that when the counter is enabled to increment, there will be impact on timing of the read or write as some cycles are needed for the operation. There are two 128-bit passwords, one for reading and one for writing. There is also option to permanently lock the memory in read or write. Two bytes in the CC file show the status of the lock or unlock. The state of the CMOS GPO pin can be configured as follow. MIP active when NDEF message updating is in progress. WIP active when writing is in progress. Interrupt controlled by the RF host to have the SD25TA producing a pulse at this pin. State mode RF host can control the state of the pin. RF busy, all RF activities will trigger the event. Field detection active when the field is strong enough to establish communication. When choosing the CMOS version, Pull-up resistors are not needed, but VCC and ground are required. Similar features as the SD25TA02K with CMOS GPO pin for the D version. Open drain means that external pull-up resistor is needed. So there are two chip capacitance values. The low density device has 50 picofarad chip capacitance, implying antenna inductance of around 2.5 microhenry. On the other hand, the high density version has 25 picofarad chip capacitance, which needs antenna inductance of around 5 microhenry. The entire SC25TA support ecosystem can be accessed on ST.com. Register and log on to use our antenna design software known as the SD Design Suite and access the engineer to engineer community. All the items such as schematic, bill of material and Gerber files can be found on most existing evaluation boards. There are also PC software tools data sheets and mobile phone apps that can be found on App Store on either Android or iPhone. The Cloud TA board is for evaluation of the SD25TA02K with CMOS GPO pin. The antenna is 18 millimeter in diameter and the device has 256 bytes of memory or oh, that's roughly around 2k bit. 
Now let's complete an exercise involving NDEF message reading and writing. The goal of this exercise covers NDEF message supporting including reading and writing of the tags. Also, we will see how native NDEF is supported on Android phone. We will need the SD25R3911B discovery board as an NFC reader. Of course, you can also use your Android phone if the discovery board is not available. Step 1. Click on the SD25 tag editor. This will launch a large menu. Click on ISO 14443A to choose the last item on the drop-down list. Now click on it. Click on the Read NDEF Message button and then click on the Read NDEF Message. This action will read the NDEF that is already on the tag. Now we're going to write a new message. Before that, we'll need to prepare the NDEF message. Click on Prepare NDEF Message button and choose the URL radio button. Now put in the URL http www.my underscore test underscore site dot com. Then click on Add Record to Message. Then, step 1, choose the right NDEF Message tab and you will see the NDEF record. Click on Right NDEF Message to write the record to the tag. Notice the activity in the log below and make sure that the write was successful. Now you can click on the Read NDEF Message tab and proceed to read the NDEF message you just wrote. Now we're going to do a little bit more example on SC25TA. We want to show the level access to SC25TA and what is below the NDEF message layer. We will need to use the SC25R3911B discovery board and we will need to configure the GUI as we did earlier regarding demo board check antenna calibration and adjust a regulator. Then we'll put the board either on top or next to the reader board. Click on the SD25TA tag editor button once the main UE GUI opens up. Once it opens, use the drop down menu under ISO 14443A to choose the SD25TA02K-P. That will open up another GUI window. Now, click on the large square button that does multiple commands. The RAT stands short for Request for Answer to Select and PPS short for protocol and parameter selections. Once the button is clicked, all the low-level commands will be executed and a new GUI window is open. Here, standard APDU can be sent. First click on the NDEF tag application select, then click on select and read sequence button. Click on capacity contain file capability container file radio button then click on select and read sequence to get all the content of the cc file do similar operation with the system file and the ndef file that's it for the segment on the NFC tag. Thank you.